Hello, I would like to go ahead and share with you a couple uh, functions. It could be very helpful feature uh, value in a present value. Let's assume that I have a million dollar. I wish I could do, but the assumption here that I have a million dollar and it should be with six zeros. So and I'll go ahead and format it as an accounting. And I wanted to go ahead and uh, put those actually in a bank and the bank give me 4% interest rate on them for the next 20 years and notice here uh, I started with a million dollars the agreement here is to have an interest rate of 4% and it's going to be for the duration of 20 years so how much money I would have to, uh, 20 years from now if I put a million dollars uh, at the rate of 4% uh, uh, or if I borrowed a uh, million dollars from the bank, that's the other side of the story, at 4% uh, fixed rate and how much I would uh, pay 20 years from now. Uh, what I would like to know also, if I have to uh, pay a monthly payment or not, I'm not going to really add anything to the million dollars, just I'm going to put them there and forget about it. So no monthly payment, uh, we're going to go ahead and say equal, okay? future value and open parentheses the rate is right here okay comma uh, the number of the payment is already in year so it's not a month and also the payment monthly payment is going to be zero I could put of course a thousand dollar every month in addition to the million dollar but I decided not to put anything and as we agreed on it in basically the present value at this moment which is that million dollar and I'm going to close that. Actually, there is another piece of information or parameters that can be added. Uh, you could choose to do that. <coughs> uh, if you want to put uh, that at the beginning of the period or end of the period, I'm going to go ahead and put it uh, at the beginning of the period and close that. You know, that's an option. And notice here, we're going to actually either pay two million dollar one hundred ninety I mean two million one hundred ninety one thousand one hundred twenty three uh, dollar fourteen cents uh, or we will make that in case we did actually deposit it ourselves of course if you want to uh, make sure that this is ours money so we could go ahead and put the minus in the front of the function so let's see if there is uh, how the <coughs> present value works uh, this is the future value here and how the present value work which could be really the opposite of this so I'm going to copy this value here and also this value here okay this basically here and also this one here as well so in case I'm copying that just in case it changed there it will change here as well because I'm going to do what we call like a cell link or calculation so let's go ahead and see how the present value let's assume that uh, 20 years from now I wanted to have uh, in my saving this much amount of money so at uh, <clears throat> 4 percent and 20 years from now I wanted that amount how much I should really uh, put uh, in the bank in order to obtain that value okay so I have a plan that I wanted to have two million dollar one hundred ninety one thousand one hundred twenty three dollar fourteen cents at four percent and at 20 uh, years from now I wanted that amount how much I need to put in the bank right so this is going to be the present value not the future value so and I'm trying to calculate the present value from a future value so it's going to be this four uh, that's the interest rate the number of the payment I'm gonna be waiting 20 years to get that amount and there is no monthly payment so I'm gonna put a zero and the future value now is going to be basically is that uh, two million dollar I'm starting to show you that how we could actually do this together and let's go ahead and put that here and I'm going to get that at the beginning of the period so here we go and you know how and let's see if we're going to get the million dollar as a result which we did great so this is basically the function of uh, future value uh, this is future value if you take a look at it and you could really pause the video and also take a look at this one here in order to get the 
uh, present value how much I have to pay now in order to get something in the future. Thank you for watching and I hope uh, to watch more videos that I'm going to record for you. Take care.